Hey everyone, Scott Cranford here from Intuitive Golf, and this is another little extract from my favorite program called 33 Joints and 26 Bones, The Forgotten Secret of the Golf Swing. If you didn't see the other clip, make sure you go back and watch it. Here is just another short extract for you to really delve into why your feet and how they work is so important in the golf swing, and when you get it right, why it can change so much else for free. It can help reduce your thinking and give you a more fluid and natural golf swing. So let's get straight into it. Now gonna form your golf posture, as we just talked about. Gonna hinge at the hip, make sure you feel like the feet are sucked into the ground. From there, I'm gonna simply ask you to put your hands on the side of your hip here, and just now, learn to control your body weight through this area, and we're gonna put a combination, and I'm gonna ask you to feel it. Don't think about how much do I do? Is that too much to, just feel it. Feel it, by the way, through your feet. So when you did the rotation, you'll feel that quite extreme change of shape and the weight's gone into the heel a lot, for me and my right heel here. And when I go this way, that, the weight's gone into my left heel a lot because that's only rotation. So your feet are always gonna give you feedback as to what you've done. When I did the lateral, the, the weight stayed central across the whole foot but it really went to the outside of the foot a bit because I'd shifted the weight a lot. Does that make sense? Now, what I'm asking you to do is put your hands on your hip and just learn to find the balance between the two. In your way, just feel it, just feel it. So now I'm gonna put in a little bit of movement here and I'm just gonna bring my weight so I now feel like it's just, it's an intuitive scent. I can feel that the foot's changed shape a bit, I can feel the weight's on there, it hasn't gone so far it's gone to the outside of the foot, it hasn't gone so far around that it's gone to the heel too much. It would have gone a little bit, because again, we're blending the two, aren't we? Then from there, just allow yourself to come back through to the follow through here, into this position here. Again, controlling it. What we're doing here is controlling body weight. That's what we're doing. Now let me help you understand that by giving you the extremes the wrong way. If from here, I'll show you the good way first of all. So here is me controlling my body weight well, okay? I'm really working through the tripod of both feet on both sides. Now, if I go too much rotation and back, can you see now, it, because I've stopped, I actually do fall over, okay? That wouldn't happen in a swing because the momentum will keep me up. But if I go here and I send this much too much rotation back here, you can see I've gone outside of my heels a lot. Very commonly in the golf swing is this way here, fall here into this heel over here, and you can see the a lot way back, and now I'm coming off that left foot, in my case, that lead foot as I go through. So I'll show you that one from this way. So trying to hit the ball very commonly, I end up over here, and my, my, my center of my body has gone here. I'm no longer on that foot. I'm not gonna control that very well. So in this movement here, we are just practicing learning to control body weight through here, the way that happens is a nice blend between lateral and rotational and allow that to happen naturally. Don't think about how you're gonna do it. Trust yourself by feeling what's going on in your feet. Your foot will feel right. You'll feel like, ah, that's solid, that feels good. I can now push off that foot. I can come into it, that feels solid, that feels good. If you're overdoing one or the other, you'll feel like, whoa, I've gone to the outside of the foot, my big toes come off the ground, I've gone turned too far, I've arched my foot too much you will know. I think this is very important. You've got to learn to trust your own feelings. Remember, we want to feel, not think. 